Hello, everybody. This is Adrienne with Ascension Soul Coaching. It is Tuesday, January the 18th, 2022. Did a first ring earlier today about Megan and Harry. Now I'm going to do one on Andrew, Prince Andrew and that girl Elizabeth. Now, let me tell you what I believe. I'm going to tell you my feelings. My feelings is that he should not be going to court over this thing with this girl. She, This stuff happened years ago. She had plenty of time to sue Prince uh, Andrew. She settled out of court with Epstein and she took the money and she said she would never sue anybody again or bring charges against anybody. But she broke her own agreement. And I hear so many stories about her being a prostitute prior to um, all this stuff and that she also brought in people after she turned other girls and after younger girls rather after she bought after she was with Epstein. So when she turned 18, she started bringing in younger girls. So she's just a couple of all. And it all, everything will come out. So we just got to wait. We just got to wait and see. Um, but I don't think, that, that's the only reason I don't think. If he slept with her, here's the other thing. They're saying he slept with her when she was, what, 17? But during the time, if it was in the United States, especially in New York, if she slept with him when she was 17, at that time, it was legal. And I don't know what's on my hand. Uh, they just recently changed the rules for the state of New York to be the age of consent is um, 17. Uh, so let me just turn it back around. The age of consent, when it, during the time that they claimed that Andrew had sex with her in New York, she was 17, but the age of consent was 14. So he was well within, if he did do it, within that gap, right? She was 17, the age of consent was 14. There was no problem, okay? They just changed and up the age to 17 not too long ago because of the Me Too movement and they got that passage and then say the girls could go back or people who under the age of 17 who had sex could go back and uh, ch charge people who had sex with them when they were under the age of seven or 17 or under even though at the time it had happened they 14 above they were okay it was it wasn't against the law so they mixed the law and changed the law for some reason y'all and now that that's the other reason why I don't think Prince Andrew should be held accountable for anything that happened. I don't think anybody should sleep with anybody under the age of 21 myself. You know, if you're over three years older than them, I mean, I'm even, you know, if you're, unless your parents know you're dating them. So a three-year three year age gap is fine, but, you know, I don't think a grown man should be having sex with anybody under the age of 18 or definitely under 21 anyway. But um, that's another story. But the issue is, was it legal? So this girl, to me, seems like she's coming out for money. So I'm going to use the chair. Carol. To do this reading for Mr. Prince Andrew York. So how is this going to turn out? I'm going to do three cards only on him because I want to just get a quick... This, this, this court case is not going to take place until later this year and near the end of 2020 or maybe around the fall so what we want to do is just say overall what would be the outcome whether it's a payoff or he wins or he lose the last card would be the outcome we may pull up a couple other cards just to get a better clearing um what do you call yeah clear reading right so we can get a better clearing of what it's saying because sometimes these cards can give you a very high level answer and it doesn't give you the details so until we use clarifiers i do anyway so what's going to happen with andrew chris andrew of, da, 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 duke of york and virginia guffrey's case the outcome i'm going to throw three cards uh past present and future with the past being did it happen did he sleep with her present what's happening in the case and in future what's going to be the outcome for prince andrew i'm reading more for prince andrew uh, and, the, and how it's going to uh, impact him. So here we go. So three cards is what I'm going to pull. First card came out. Ooh, well, look at there. All those cards. As y'all know, my technique is to throw these cards out while online, not beforehand. It's not that it doesn't work. I just, because uh, I can do a private reading. I just, 
on when I do it online, I, to me, the, the reading is just better for me. It's live. Well, it's not true. I do record and I upload this, the video, but as I'm talking, this is the cards so that are coming out. And I like it this way. I don't shuffle the normal way. This is how I shuffle. This is how I get in tune with my cards. Everybody does it differently. I know there's formal ways and everybody sometimes says, oh my God, look at how she shuffles. It's none of your business how I shuffle. What is your business is what's the answer. I want one more shuffle for this one. Is the answer, am I right? <laughs> I'm just joking with y'all, but seriously, stop. We're going to have fun. We're here to have fun and, and figure out the stuff, what's going on in life. Don't be so judgmental. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just trying to tell you what I see. You know, what the cards are telling me. We all want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, let me get serious. One more card. Outcome. Prince Andrew York. Duke of York. For this court case with Miss Virginia. And it popped out. I did see another card. I want to show you all that card. Not that it matters. I just thought it was an interesting an interesting card. So we want to know, did he actually sleep with her? Mm, it says the lovers. So let me think about it. Mm -hmm. I think there was a lot of partying going around. I think this is actually, uh, to me, I think this is more Epstein. I think this young girl was hanging out, making money, making networking and all that kind of stuff. She saw a good thing when she saw it and she dove on she knew andrew or any of the guys hanging around epstein were too old for her but she was there for the money and uh connections so there was they knew each other she bored y'all she bored but she was there it's a part she's part of this whole thing so there was a relationship now did he sleep with her i it says lovers y'all so i think there may have been some hanky panky going on but as i said before if it happened during the time when the age of consent was 14 and she was 17, then there is no laws broken. Again, that's why they're probably saying they cannot come up with a, uh, anything legal against or criminal against uh, Andrew. But she could sue him civilly. You, know, you got to understand why they're doing what they're doing and what they're calling it, what they're calling it. Okay? So, it was legal. He's an ogre. This is Mr. Epstein. This is probably Mr. Prince Andrew and this regular girl. Miss Virginia at the time. Okay. So then, what's happening right now with the case? So it's reversed, and it says, uh, Two of Pentacles is reversed. So this is it, right side up. This is the prince. Remember, he was in the uh, um, Navy, Mr. Andrew. He was in the Navy. This is reversed, Two of Pentacles. You know, Pentacles is about money. Pentacles is about health. It's about life in general. So he was, at the time, he. so what's happening right now, he's juggling. He is juggling what he needs to do. He's looking through all kinds of windows, drawing through his memory, going through people he knew, trying to find people who knew him at the time. He feels he's like right now he's alone in the dark, but he's trying to figure out a way out of what he's in. This is reverse. So, you know, and in all the high profile people do not want to talk. Hello. I would not want to either. I would not want to implicate myself in this mess. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't even be in this mess, but uh, it looks like he trying to find somebody that's going to help him out. The lawyers can only do so much. They can fight as hard as they can for him. But, you know, he's been kicked out of the royal family. He's got to fight this as an individual and uh, uh, what do they say as a citizen and not as a prince. Um, you know, where's his money coming from? He doesn't work. And if they've cut him off from the royal funds, and his past, was it, what do they call it? Past, 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 passages, whatever they call it. Where he goes out and he does work for the queen. He's not getting paid for that anymore. So he's, if he has to settle monetarily, he's in a pickle. That's why the two pinnacles is upside down. Where am I getting the money? Do I, res, do I do this? Go ahead and just settle and get out of this mess. Um, is there, do, can I find anybody that's going to help me? Who's going to speak up for me? You know, he's, he's, he's alone right now. He's, he's in a lot of trouble. 
he's worried to death on this. And then the outcome, the world writes that up. Things are looking brighter. You see this? The uh, the world. You can't get any better than this. Now this is Andrew right here, walking away towards the light, back to London. He going back to his castle, y'all. He going to win this case. He's not going to settle with this girl. He's going to find the right people that's going to help him uh, tell the truth of what happened. He's no one's going to see him have slept with her. No one's going to come up and say they saw him slept with her. And I think, and, 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 and even if people like kind of lie for him, we're going to so much, I'm not saying they are, but they're going to be like, well, yeah, based on the time and the frame, I mean, he was not guilty of anything wrong, doing anything wrong. I mean, here's the thing. If he was a lecher, lech, a pervert like that, it would be more than one girl coming forward. And that right now, if any other girls are coming forward, it's because they're trying to jump on the bandwagon because it, all these years have passed. Nobody said anything. And I hate when that happens, like with Bill Cosby, all those girls, women came forward after all those years, like, yeah, well, you yeah, know, you know, there's a lot of things that was done in the, in dark, in the dark that, that, that came out later and that he got released. Not saying he should have been giving anybody pills. I'm not saying anybody should be sleeping with a married man. I'm just saying. But with, with, with uh, Prince William, I mean, oh, Lord Jesus, with Prince Andrew, he going to walk right back home. You may take everything from me. He may lose a lot of money and credibility and all the other crap y'all trying to take from him. But homeboy is walking back to his castle. Can't take it from him because he didn't do anything wrong legally. And she is trying to just get him for money. She don't want just an apology. If she wanted an apology, she would have just said apologize. But he don't feel he had anything to apologize for. And he going to fight it. And if I was him, I'd fight it too. So, no, he's going to win the case. The overall sen sen consensus of this for this reading for me is, is he's going to win. And the way he's going to win overall, he's going to get his stuff back on the back, on the back end. Now, will it be in, in will, even if he wins the case, let's say they prove that she's lying, right? Or she's exaggerating or whatever. Um, the queen's not going to... Like the queen's not going to make it easy for him or his brother's not going to make it easy for him to just get his stuff back from the world. I'm not saying that. What... I'm saying is that in the long run, Prince Andrew's going to be free and he's going to walk back to his castle and he's going to get what's his. They're going to, what I believe they, they're doing is just setting the money aside, his titles aside, so she can't take everything. They're going to make him, they're making him seem less valuable by taking these things away from him now. So when he goes in that court case, he's just a regular citizen. And we know he's Prince Andrew, but on paper, he's not going to seem like he's Prince Andrew because he ain't had no money. He's not going to have a title. He's not going to have all the things she's really trying to go for. And people are trying to take the British royal family down. So what the royal family is doing is the right thing. They just said, okay, fine, we're going to put this off side right here so y'all can't touch it. We're going to lock it away. Now do what you do. And no money to be gotten. And no titles to be gotten because it's already been taken away. So yes, there was a relationship. There was something going on. She was bored. She was in on it. She was part of the game. She knew who Epstein was. And he was, he, he, he don't even look all that happy. He may have been with her, but he don't care about this little girl. He just was in and out if he did do it. What's this book say? Let me see what this little book say. I got to get my, y'all know I got to get my magnifying glass out now. So I can see. Because sometimes you got to read the little teeny words in these cards. They say a lot. His book says, oh, it's a menu. Oh, you know how it is. <laughs> I should have known. It's a menu. Cause you know he was taking orders on young girls, young girls. That was Epstein. He had his types. He had his types. So that was that. He's fighting for everything he has. He's trying to know if he should settle, and if he settles, where he gets the money. He's trying to figure out somebody who can help him. They've taken his titles away. He's feeling like he's alone, left in the dark. That's this card here, y'all. And then this last card is he's going to, eventually this is going to be over. And he's going to have everything back that he, they put aside for him. And it's going to be over. And you can't pull him into court anymore. It's over. It's done with. It's going to take a while. But he's going to come out on the, on the right side of this. So there's things being done in order for a reason. And I'm happy. If it's, if, if it's, this is just a setup, I'm happy. People can set y'all up, people. People can set people up. People can, this, this Me Too, look, Me Too and Time's Up and all that stuff that's going on now. I'm sorry, uh, but it seems like it's just setting men up, men up in high places, and they're just bringing them all down. 
I mean, a lot of us have been raped or molested. I was 14 years old when I had my first child, and I was by somebody who was much older. He, it was statutory rape. It definitely was statutory rape. But I didn't want to take the man to board of jail because, you know, we we're all just starting out in life, and I just want him to take care of his child. I wasn't trying to hurt anybody. Um, you know, we all go through some things. We make some bad decisions, you know, in life. But we don't want somebody to come back 50 years from now and just take everything away from us when we try to make things better, you know, try to move on with our life and be a better person. I wanted the God to handle what he needed to handle, the courts handle what they needed to handle, and me handle what I needed to handle. I wasn't trying to take anybody down. It had nothing to do with money. It was about what's right. So all the stuff that's going on now is not right. In my opinion, everybody has their own opinion. This stuff is a setup. It's a setup to bring down the royal family, to hurt the royal family. And I'm not on board with that. You don't do harm. Two wrongs don't make a right. And so I, I just can't see or get behind her. If this was taken care of years ago, I've been behind her. If it wasn't, if she hadn't signed the non-disclosure and took the $500,000, I'd be behind her. But some ain't right with her. So I cannot agree with her. I just want, what I, let me tell you what I really want. I just want the right thing to happen. What's fair is fair. Fair. That's it. So let's look at uh, any money gonna be paid out. This is my uh, grand. These are my fake cards, but it's my grand bizarre tarot. It's about moolah. Is any money? It's let's see if Prince Andrew gonna have to spend any money. I mean, other than lawyer, legal fees, or whatever, to this Aunt Virginia girl. Will he settle? Is the question. One card. That's all I need. Ooh, I say that too fast sometimes. What is it? It's the world again, y'all. No. <laughs> ah, no. It's going to come out. This is going to come out in his favor over time. Is This will win. Look at this girl's face. She ain't happy. Look, look. She ain't smiling. She worried. Because I'm lawyer's going to come out after her. Now, these, these names on here. Smith. Marks, Keys, and Friedman, or Friedman. These have to do with economics. Marxism, Keysianism, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm making them up, I don't know. But no, he's, overall, overall, I'm not saying how soon. I'm just saying, at the end, Prince Andrew's going to come out on the winner's end. He's... Not going to have to pay her any money. He's not going to settle, put it this way. He's not going to settle the way. And if he does, if it's a settlement, it's not what you think. It's going to be totally different. But it's it's more, we'll know more is what I'm trying to say. But the end, I just want you to know, at the end of the day, he comes out on top. He's going to be fulfilled and happy with the results. So let's say he's, he, he pays her a million dollars, get rid of her, right? Whatever, he comes out with the money. That money is nothing compared to what he's going to get on the back end with his life and the titles and all that stuff back. It's just going to take a few years for them to start handing him stuff back slowly. He won't be out in public doing, you know, public duties and all that stuff, but, but he's going to get his reputation back. He's, this stuff is going to fall away. People are not going to see him as a criminal and over time people will forgive him or he's going to win and not have to pay her anything and he'll still get his stuff back. He'll just get that quicker because then he'll say, okay, he didn't do anything wrong. Nothing criminal. There was nothing uh, civilly she gets from it and she wasn't able to prove her case. And so over time, the, the royal family will give him his title and his assets back. He still won't do, do royal duty because he's getting older. Wasn't it 60 some years old or something? He's almost 70. So he's fine. You know, I can just hang out. You know, I could too at that age with all that money and all that prestige behind me. But, you know, so he'll be fine. He'll be fine. His kids will be fine. It will be fine for Prince Andrew. So y'all, you all people out there saying he should lose everything. Ain't never even been to court yet. Y'all need to stop that. Let the case do what it do. Let God handle the situation. He going to be fine. You, what you don't want is people lying on people and setting people up. That's what y'all should be worried about. Don't be worried about <clears throat> if he did it, he will be he will be held accountable. He will be. If he did not, you don't want this girl walking around. Other people being able to just go in and sue and bring out this chaos, just like Meghan and Harry, just to cause issues with the queen. Y'all need to step back. Step back and let the courts handle what it has to handle. Let God handle what he got to handle. 
everything will fall into place. But if that girl is wrong and she's with people who are setting her up to go after the, the British royal family and to, to take uh, Prince Andrew down, y'all need to hold her accountable. That's what you should be doing. But, you know, I sit down and listen to these people on the internet and I'm like, oh, Prince Andrew will never be able to show his face again in life. In life. I'm like, y'all need to stop that mess. All y'all are so perfect, right? I don't care if he's a prince of the world. <clears throat> people are people. He's a human being. Let's see what happens. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Stop pushing a narrative all the time that's negative. This, and I'm not saying we should blame the, the victim. If the girl it was raped or whatever, I'm just saying, you know, let's just wait, man. God, that's, he'll never be able to show his face again. Now y'all wrong. It ain't going to happen that way. It never does. Okay. So that is my reading for today. I'm just having a little fun. I guess I'm a little cranky. I don't know. Um, and I just want to wish y'all a great day. I'm going to do one more reading. I'll probably upload that one tomorrow because I'm getting a little tired. I'll end up doing the reading and then I'll load it up tomorrow so I can have, you know, two days back to back readings for y'all to enjoy. And I would love to look at your comments. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you, every time I do load up a video, you will be notified. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying talking to y'all again. I was getting bored and, uh, but I was watching all the stuff on YouTube and just, just, <laughs> just, laughing and when I could laugh get a laugh out but anyway so I'm healing fine every moment it gets better so just getting a little tired talk to y'all later blessings 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 bye bye